Welcome back. The mysterious respiratory dog illness that causes fever, cough, and lethargy in dogs has now reached a total of 16 states. That's according to the Louisiana State University School of Veterinary Medicine. The numbers of dogs infected over the past year continues to rise. Animal Humane Society's Director of Veterinarian Medicine says because so little is known about what causes the illness, vets have yet to pinpoint how it spreads and how best to treat it. So, Brett the Vet is joining me now with updated information on what we need to know regarding this mysterious dog illness. And again, you've been seeing a lot of dog owners asking you a lot of questions about this. Everybody's concerned about yeah. this. The good news is we are seeing no cases. My hospital, no cases. Everybody I've spoken to here in the Valley has seen nothing that's, oh, that's progressed into something more serious. Okay. So it's kennel cough as usual, and I'm hopeful that we can even downgrade this further, especially around the travel season. Right. We should still be diligent, still be careful. And I think one thing we'll always keep our eye out on is, you know, snowbird season's here yeah. and it really peaks, you know, January mm -hmm. after the holidays mm -hmm. and people come from all over the country. Yeah, bringing so their pets. From these states where we have seen. So we wanna be careful, but I'm feeling really comfortable now that we're not seeing this escalate okay that's good news. status quo that's better than you know getting worse so be careful we'll but good news okay that is good all right i also want to talk about you know christmas less than a week away a lot of people are thinking of gifting pets uh as the perfect christmas gift what are your thoughts on that what should people know if they do decide to do it gifting pets is a great idea if everybody is involved in the process. Yes. The gifter and the giftee. It's a bad idea if you want to surprise somebody unexpectedly because they may not be prepared for that relationship that's yeah. going to last 10, 15 years, yeah. not just the novelty of the holidays. Mm -hmm. And you know, if you don't get to choose in the selection, it's like- They criteria. wanted one thing, you want yeah. another thing. Yeah. You know, so, so it's a great idea if it's pre-planned or you know, in your case, if you have kids and the responsible party gifting to the kids, that's the most exciting. When the right. kids see the puppy, that's right. great. But the responsibility still rests with the with the parents. So mm -hmm. it's a bad idea. We see this every year where a lot of dogs or cats are gifted and then shortly after they're back. They realize the it's pound. yeah, it's too much to take care of and then they end up at the shelter. Big responsibility. Right. Make sure you're all ready to go. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Let's talk about a lot of uh, poinsettias around the house, lots of decor, lots of food scraps all over too. Mm -hmm. I mean, what do people need to know with that? Yeah, you know, toxic plants, chocolate. We talked about this with yes. starting, you know, Halloween through Thanksgiving. Yeah. What same rules apply, you know, food hitting the floor, guests coming over, feeding the pets. Mm -hmm. We see a lot of GI diseases, toxic plants towards cats and dogs, uh, eating eating tinsel, which can cause foreign bodies, Ooh, the need yeah. for surgery. So again, I think one thing we brought up every time here is give your pet a safe place to escape right. the chaos of the holidays. Mm -hmm. And I think that's one of the best things we can do because just because we enjoy it, Oh, doesn't yeah. mean that they do. Well, and it's so much anxiety. So many people over, for instance, I had a party over the weekend. I put Sunny Lou upstairs just to, you know, keep her out of, for not only for the pets, but for the guests, right? That's you don't right. want the guests to get so much anxiety around so many people. Um, one thing I will say, speaking of Sunny Lou, and I'm sure, I don't know if other people have this problem too, but so we cut a real Christmas tree up in the woods every year. Yeah. So apparently she just loves to gnaw on the <laughs> on the lower branches of the tree. Can that be dangerous for pets too to be chewing on those branches? Well, apparently, apparently she wanted it shaped. She up wanted, nicely, yeah, she right? wanted a little trim the tree. Yeah. That's probably okay for your dog. Okay. You just kind of limit it. Don't let her eat yeah, too much. Yeah. Yeah. No kidding. No, I think you're. I'm sure she's fine. Okay. Okay. Well, from dogs to pets, I have to acknowledge this beautiful, ugly. Christmas cat sweater. Well, you know, you know the saying, the ugly Christmas sweater. I don't think it's ugly, nor does Brett, but I will say this is courtesy of our very own Ginger, who was wearing it earlier and wanted to share. Sharing is caring. So we had you. Thank you Perfectly for the style timed. tips. <laughs> Brett the vet with what else? A beautiful cat sweater. Appreciate the style tips, Ginger. <laughs> Ginger!